Hello everyone, Thanos here, doing a uh, video review on Alternator's smokescreen, and he is a uh, race car, obviously, of a Subaru. Uh, very cool looking, uh, it's got some yellow stars there with Subaru on on the side panels here on the door, on the top part of the windshield, and on the back windshield. Um, right here it has Make it in Linz, Lindstrom, I think, how you pronounce it. And down here also has a SWRT.com, which I'm not sure what that is. Uh, Rally Monte Carlo 2003, uh, number A on the back here. So um, S30 WRT. I'm assuming that's the uh, uh, type of a TV show or uh, the channel that he'll probably be on or what well, I don't know. Uh, one cool thing about him is you open up the doors and look inside these. Look inside here. You got the alternators. Has the um, you got the steering wheel, dashboard, uh, seats. The steering wheel does not move. It's too bad. It has a gear shifter in there. Has the trigger or not the trigger, but the um left and right turn signal turner thingy um, on there even has the uh, you see the radio and it, is, it has the uh, wiper blades turner thingy you'll go on just really cool looking and the wheels are rubbery like all the alternators are I'm assuming and one thing that's really cool is the fact that um, the wheels are connected to this long piece right here that one side moves, the other one moves. And it doesn't really show a whole lot about the uh, robot bit either, just the couple of arms and the hands and that's it, which is cool. Um, the, the trunk doesn't open up as much as part of the feet, but the hood does open up as well. You can see the engine, which is also his gun, so I'll go ahead and take that out. I can here. That in there. Come back here. That's pretty good. There we go. Take the engine out, and this forms the gun, like so. Has a uh, post on both sides to where he can hold in either hand. So, to uh, begin transformation, I want to start by opening up the doors here on both sides. Actually, the front doors and the back doors. I also like to push down the seats to get those out of the way. The next thing you want to do is unpeg the seat from right here. Right here, just kind of bring this down. Do the same thing with the other side. Like that. And like this. Kind of bring them down, fold the seats in more, and then just fold in, like I just did, fold in this piece right here to form the, um, yes, the chest area, the center piece. I'll go ahead and work on the, um, on the legs here. Let's go ahead and, um, untab the, the back part of the car. And just go ahead and, and spur. Uh, separate them. Spread to separate the leg parts. Go ahead and close up the wheels. Go ahead and bring this, uh, extend the legs down. Just having a hard time talking tonight, if you'll excuse me there. And bring down the foot. And flip around the heel. Like that. And you have one leg done. And do the same thing with the other side. Put this down. That will fold the door around. Like this. Slide down his, his foot. Like that. Fold around the heel. And there you have it. And here's his legs. Now the next thing you want to do is just, sep is just spin. Um, actually.
you have to forgive me on this. It's been a while since I transformed him, like some people would say. So, we'll go ahead and work on the upper part of the arms here. Go ahead and bring these out as well. Now, the arms here can be kind of tricky if you're not uh, too careful. I'm just going to be wondering about that piece. Oh, never mind, I see how. Okay. Let's go ahead and bring these legs around, like so. And fold around. And match up with the post and port. Like that. There he is. Alright. There's his bottom half. Complete. I'll worry about straightening them up later. Okay, I want to move the camera up so we can see what we've got going on the top part. For the arms, they're kind of tricky. But basically, you just want to kind of slide this piece around like that. Like I just did. And just spin the arms, spin the hands around. Like that. Just do the same thing with the other side. Like that. And spin his hand around. I don't know if it's just mine or what, but the, I'm gonna stay in there. It's kind of weird. Let's go ahead and fold this piece down so you can see his head. And just lift up the top part of this hood. And just snap in place. Maybe. There we go. That's all it takes a matter of time to separate them or stand them up. Give them a good pose. And there is alternator smoke screen. Go ahead and put his gun in his hand. Like that. Why is a little crooked here? Okay. And there he is. Alternator's smoke screen. It's very cool. I like him a lot. But he is a pain in the butt to transform. Back in the car mode, so uh, a couple of features I like about him is the fact that uh, in robot mode he can hold his gun in either hand, which has got possibly uh, fingers here, which are still together, but not really. Um, like, the first finger can move and the last three can move as well. Uh, the head can turn from side to side. And the arms. I uh, can do a complete 360 if you want to get the arm, or not a 360, but, well, yeah, they can. <laughs> Learn more about this guy each time I play with him. But, yeah, he's a bit difficult to transform him. Um, he's the only one I have out of the alternator line, but I am looking for alternator's wheel jack now. So, <clears throat> um, do a quick size comparison here. Uh, two others that I'm going to use them with. We have Human Alliance Bumblebee, or Sideswipe and Bumblebee here. I'm going to use him with. And smoke screen is a bit smaller than the other two. But it's still kind of up to about alternator, or comes up with the other two it's height as well, so it's going to give a rough idea on how small he is, or how big he is, rather. But it's still pretty cool. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to put these guys back. Alright, 
Now, would I recommend him? Probably, if you like good challenges, which I do. So, I would say pick him up if you do not have him yet. Uh, you won't be disappointed in him. So this is Thanos here again with Alternator's smoke screen. Signing out, and have a good night.